Good guys, my name is Lord Tomo. Welcome again to another Sonic the Hedgehog tour. I don't collect the review. As you know, I'm Lord Tomo with the Blue Steel Good Old Sonic the Hedgehog. And as you can probably tell, this is the special show for none other than Dr. Eggman. AKA Dr. Robotnik. Really depends on where you're from and how you got first introduced to this. Fun fact. Back in that day, he was actually meant to be called Dr. Eggman, and they had to repurpose his name for the American viewers of sorts, and they called him Dr. Robotnik. But anyway, that's besides the point. This is from none other than da -da -da, First four figures. For those keeping uh, in tune to my videos, I do tend to collect very pricey figurines and statues of sorts, and this is one of them. It put a dent in my pocket, but can I just say straight out of the bat, after taking it out of the box, I'm going to show you everything. I was actually blown away due to the proportions, the size, and just overall details and attention to details. But anyway, let's get down to it. This is the box itself. It did come in a. I'm going to show you quickly because I always think this is always important for those who, of you that don't care. Disregard it. This is the box that it came with. Sturdy box, very hard box. Obviously, my postage are uh, my. My postage service decided to go a little haymaker on this, and there's a few dents in, in that, and in that, if you, <laughs> in that, and it was quite bothersome. But inside it, it comes with a uh, different style of styrofoam, uh, which I think is pretty awesome. So this is the styrofoam. It's on each corner, on the bottoms and the top, just to uh, cushioning the impact of the box in the event that it gets thrown away, thrown around, and treated like a boxing bag of sorts and it comes with a little um, box and uh, not a box little cardboard piece to go inside it that's actually on the top and on the bottom there's really nothing unique about this other than a few basics here and there and that's of course the logo for for figures this box is massive I generally did not think it was gonna be as big as I thought but that's the box the reason I've been I briefly want to talk about that is simply because it's it's one of those things that I always think is always a cautionary tale whenever you're purchasing big items or, or expensive items is how they actually package them and first of all figures do not skimp on the actual packaging uh, once upon a time yeah maybe I don't know uh, but recently as of late every statue that I had um, it's always been in phenomenal condition which is always a plus so this is the actual box that it comes inside it awesome 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 definitely a collector's piece of course you have a few um minor dents here and obviously it's not no fault of their own it's just because you know my australian post office decides hey why don't we just mess around with the box maybe yeah but mm, to say the least okay so this is the actual figurine you're going to get i will show you of course close up to that you have dr eggman up there you have a statue there you have two cows emeralds i would hopefully would want in the future for first four figures to have like an accessory pack where you can have more um emeralds so you can mix and match or basically have it homogenous to that of the original sonic the hedgehog um one where if you don't collect all the emeralds he's actually juggling it of course you're not going to make a juggler but maybe have kind of like little stilts where you can actually place your emeralds and kind of have a you know awesome effect of that then in conjunction with uh the the actual uh supersonic statue that i have which i'm definitely getting you on so the box is awesome very great oh, i just have all the obligatory information on the side you have him this picture i don't know i laughed the minute and i'm still laughing now the minute i actually got it because it's just like he's so fat and and, and grabbable you just like uh, you, you can't help i think you know he's he's a bad guy right he looks like a good guy plus in for those who played sonic adventure 2 i uh, know sonic adventure sonic the hedgehog 2 you basically had the whole no sonic one actually sonic one sonic the hedgehog one when you're running after dr eggman and also sonic the hedgehog two when you're running after Eggman, he always seems to outrun you so he's technically maybe the fastest thing alive who knows of course you have more uh obligatory, uh, obligatory information dr ivo eggman lupanic is a mechanic mechanical yeah mechanical genius inventor who's trying to conquer the world blah 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 that's there for you on a radar i will i have read it i think it's awesome uh, shout out to the actual artist who created it. It is artist. I'm not even gonna pronounce it because I'm gonna probably offend him. Sanchi Pradhan. Pradham. 
I apologize if you watch this video and I got your name wrong. I really have. <laughs> of course, I got product uh, 43 and it's a few minor dents. And like I said, it's it's nothing to do with the actual, you know, packaging itself. It's just, it is what it is, right? Now, the thing I do like about this is just the small attention to, I'm going to throw this in the word, the small attention to detail. This is not needed. This was added. Why? Beyond me. For a collector and for an enthusiastic, uh, for an enthusiasm, enthusiasm enthusiastic for an enthusiast like myself I think this is awesome because it is so awesome to attention to detail it sits like that you never notice until you pick it up and I think that's what the prime objective is for one of these boxes from a collector's point of view and a non-collector's point of view is for people to actually pick it up and have a quick look at it and I think that's an awesome feature that's just me on the other side you have the actual other picture of what he has and the actual base that he comes with on the top you have Sonic the Hedgehog I would have preferred it to have like Dr. Robonic somewhere but I guess I, I look the reasoning behind I would have preferred Dr. Robonic opposed to the word Sonic the Hedgehog is when you're purchasing an item of this nature you know sh straight out of the bat that this is a Sonic you know character for you not to know you wouldn't be purchasing especially at the price that you purchased this from so uh, it's not bad, I would have preferred it to have Dr. Robonic. That's my two cents. I really wanted that to be like that. But it is what it is and you know, uh, I can't come really complain. You know what I mean? Just like for example here, Dr. Something, like for example here, it says Dr. Eggman and here's Sonic the Hedgehog. That to me seems awesome. Would have preferred the same. That's just honestly my two cents nitpicks. Um, what else? Now it does come with a few extra things. I'm just gonna briefly touch up on this before we get to the actual item, I do apologize. It comes wrapped up in this little uh, plastic for added protection in case you know it's going through water or whatnot. Awesome. And it also comes with, I'm just gonna grab it, bubble wrap. Another awesome addition which basically adds to the cushioning, adds to the protection and whatnot. Now of course this is the actual item you get. <laughs> of course it's taken out. Now I'm gonna tell you one thing straight out of the bat, alright? This is a small mistake I did and thank God nothing broke because I actually lost my plot here, right? When you're taking out this item and you're removing it for the first time, please, by all means, don't do the same thing as I did. Put this facing up and remove this from up, right? I, being stupid as hell that I am and being super, you know, excited to get it, placed the face down and when I put, <laughs> when I lifted the back lid, things start to drop, the emeralds start to drop, uh, two hands start to drop, and I lost it, I was just like, oh my god, I, I ruined it, I, my life is over, I'm gonna, you know, end my life here, don't do what I do, please, whenever you're taking it out, put this face up, so when you remove it, you push it up, two cents of honest to god feedback that I can, that any person could have, like I said, thank god, uh, nothing was broken, because if it was, I would have cried my heart out, Maybe something is broken, I don't know, I doubt it though. <laughs> so this is the actual card you get, it's obligatory. Um, I'm, I'm just gonna cover some, some letters there just so you know that it's official. Basically, you put this number into the First for Figure website. I'm gonna link that in the description. I highly recommend you guys check them out. They do make other awesome um, statues, Metroid and other figurines. Obviously, I exclusively go for the Sonic merchandise, of course, being Sonic Channel and whatnot. And so you get a card, which is awesome. It's always a plus to have it. I'm going to put it back, the really sad thing about the whole situation is I'm going to have to pack this up, this guy away until the new house is built so I can just put it on display and that's burning me inside that I'm getting all these statues and I can't display them the way I want them because I'm an idiot, because I'm purchasing the house when I really need it. So this is what you get from the inside, right? I'm going to be super cautious with this because like I said, I'm going to get to the price and this is just going to blow my mind. This is generally how it is, right? For the most part anyway so i'm going to put this live so everything you see man i'm such a such a mess everything you see is going to be live so if i break it it's going to be live you know if somebody walks into my room which i doubt it's uh it's live Ugh. okay so the first piece is you get his base okay this is going to be a like, live reaction of the statue of Dr. Robotnik. Okay, straight out of the bat, love it. Now, remember how I mentioned in the base on the actual box itself, um, it's a small attention to detail. This is another awesome attention to detail. The, 
this 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 company I'm just gonna straight say that I'm not even endorsed by these guys you know like these guys don't even pay me they just take my money and away I go right and I don't really care because I'm so happy about that now this is just the minute sort of things that I absolutely love now already you have this kind of octagon effect right now God forbid you can't really see this on my cam, but you have this gradient effect, which is kind of like a washed over brown effect, and I think that's awesome simply because, given the fact that he stands on it, it makes sense because you're standing on it, therefore it will be dirty. But I'm sure he has other um, purposes. That being that over time, metal does basic metal does basically rust and whatnot, and that's awesome. I'm feeling it. And this is really really heavy. This whole thing is heavy. So you have more little um, concave little effects, awesome. You have of course the side where you have little screw holes. I absolutely love the love, 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 love that. And this is obviously the base that he stands on that he hovers, if I'm not mistaken. Pretty sure this is what it is, you know, whenever he escapes, or well, sometimes he doesn't escape, but for the most part, he's on his egg carry and he flies away, right? But sometimes he's on a base, he's like, ha ha ha, I'm Dr. Rabonic. Life is awesome sort of thing. <laughs> Of course, you have other little effects, which is over here. Is this made of metal? I I generally am questioning if this is this is made of metal or is this made of polyester. I I have absolutely no idea. And you know what? I'm not even going to bother asking because this is so awesome. So you have more of the little concave sort of gradient effects happening here as well. It's very hard to see on my cam, but it is what it is. You have, of course, little you know they could have made this a solidified little little thing. Now you can't see it well because my cam sucks and I have crappy lighting but there's the little inner part of the actual base but it's also well painted inside they could have just made it into a you know just one color and left it at that but they've added uh, I would appear like a, like a wash over or gradient effect inside which is once again gonna ha you're gonna get bored of this word attention to detail awesome awesome so it is pretty symmetrical on, it, on all sides which is great and of course you have the very bottom which is first of all Dr. Eggman is a product and there's only a thousand in the world and he's my one's number 43 awesome so that's the base okay that's 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 that now the thing that freaks me up the most is taking this big boy out because I feel like if I start grabbing things that I shouldn't um, it's gonna irritate me now the trick that I do is this is what I do right this this is not official or anything it could be I don't know is grab it by the plastic and push it up because if you start grabbing it from his legs or his arms I generally feel that it's gonna break it may be sturdy as sturdy as can be but I lose it when stuff like that happens and this guy is so heavy and so fat I'm absolutely in love now I'm just gonna shake him <laughs> oh my god I'm in love with this guy okay he looks pretty naked and we're gonna dress him up this is Dr. Robonic <laughs> oh man I'm not this so much so you have him now first and foremost you have his eyes great awesome it's one uh, color which is all right there's no gradient effect behind that I'm not complaining there gonna make sure okay Whew. But I did something to it. You have his nose, which is extremely well sculpted, superb, and attention to detail, you have little nostrils there. Awesome. Now you have two little areas. Man, I'm scared, like I'm just <laughs> scared about this. You have two little holes on either side of his nose to so tell you you have his mustache which you can put it in. Awesome. Now the thing that made me go, wow, is his mouth. If you look close in his mouth, you can actually put your finger in and it goes all the way back as if you're gonna get eaten awesome you have his ears now this works off simplistic colors you have your yellows your reds your blacks your whites your blues and your two gradients worth of nose and tongue which i think you know what i ain't complaining there's that so that's his head awesome feature and of course you have his ears and of course you have his arms now his arms have this interesting little ripple effect which of course is a fat little thing so of course he needs that little ripple effect and you have his buttons on either side of his hand now at the very bottom you have of course you have his two buttons and you have his big fat belly and of course you have your his feet which I'm just gonna have a quick look oh this is so done so awesome this is done 
so awesome. I'm just gonna wrap this up. This guy has all my fingerprints now. This guy's legit mine. Okay, and then you have his back and you have his big bar and whatnot. Now this works of an interesting mechanic. I could be wrong, but I'm pretty sure I'm dead right I'm making this assumption. This works of parts, they connect the parts to it and then they just basically put another mold over just to make it solidified. And you know what? That isn't bad because at least then I uh, makes things more sturdy and have you have his little I never knew what this was. Was this a cape of sorts or was it just a design? No idea. At the very bottom you have a little magnet piece. Now, in the previous iterations of these statues, you kind of had like a peg of sort. And collectors like myself, who obviously am going to be moving and whatnot, I would like to unhinge it and hinge it. And it was extru, extru, excruciating. Is that even a word? It was a pain in my butt. I'm just making up words, you know, I'm out of my excitement. It was a pain in my butt to actually remove. So this looks like it's a manic field. So I'm just going to put this here and not cry if I do anything okay come on there's a method of doing this there is I just want to make sure I got it right because knowing me I probably won't and I'll hit my world come on Like I said, this is live, so if I'm having troubles, you may have troubles, I don't know. Okay. <clears throat> Let's try a different method. Just going to put on his belly. This hurts me to work, I'm guessing so. Alright, come on. I'm actually having more trouble than I would have imagined. And I don't know if I should be putting force on this or not. I'm gonna have to go out I'm not. Right. Maybe that's how it's done. I don't think he's meant to hover, maybe he is. Okay, maybe that's it. Uh, no, I think I did it. Now, I have a horrible base, which means this is really going to not work properly. Now, of course, this is a cushiony base that I'm using, so. So it's obviously not going to work 100%. So we'll see what happens. Hopefully this won't you know, do anything beyond go crazy on either side. Maybe if I use levitation on one side. Uh, so this is how it looks for the most part. I'm just going to be super careful. I just have a game. Cross advertisement probably. How about? Mind you, the balance on this is superb, it's just that I don't have a solid base and I'm using this on. So, of course, you know, this is gonna not work 100% of the time on my side. Okay, there we go. Whew! I. So that's him, pretty much standing, doing his own thing. So that seems doing his own thing, standing. That was nerve wracking. Now you do get a couple of things. Um, you get his moustache, which come in its own little case. So I'm gonna put this here. And put this here. Okay, so the moustaches are essentially identical. Now here are the moustaches. Now you get the common three, which is awesome. Now they have like little stripes, which insinuate its thickness and whatnot. And what makes Tejadudina is on the other side as well. So basically that's that. And it's exactly the same as the other one here. So let's put this here. 
I'm hoping this works. Okay, am I doing the right one? Let's hope so. Is it meant to go improve? Well, that's okay. So <laughs> I'm such an idiot. <laughs> <laughs> this is so live and this is so amateur -y. but it's not meant to go that way, it's meant to go, I mean, it's not meant to go upwards, it's meant to go downwards, based on the picture. Based on the picture. There we go. So that's another helpful, helpful little tip. So that is, oh, <laughs> this is so awesome. All right. Now what makes this pretty awesome is you get different hands, which I think is quite phenomenal. Now I'm going to show you all the different alliteration of the hands, because I think they're awesome. Now you get two hands and you get a couple of, and you get two crystals. Okay. First and foremost, the two basic hands, you oh, two sets of hand is the open a palm hand. Put this here. Put this here. Okay. So these hands are exactly as as made mentioned. They're open palm. So that's that. It's just it basically make him say ho oh, hello. Palm two hands. So this. Oh my God. Maybe I didn't read these instructions, but <laughs> I'm such an idiot. This has magnetics. Magnetic here and magnetic there. No joke, I actually lost my. <laughs> so essentially, when you put it in, it literally goes in like magic. Ma First of all, figures, if you're watching this video, kudos to you on that idea. You should implement that way much more in various other things. So that's his first pose, right? He said, Voila, I am Dr. Eggman. Awesome! He's so awesome, I can't believe it. I'm so gobsmacked okay that's the first hand right uh, the second hand is what I'm gonna be doing when I display this which is the um, open palm hand or the the crunched or oh, I don't even know what the proper terminology is is the semi crunched hand as if he was gonna hold something you see you have two pivot points and this is the general hand itself awesome great superb What's this news for? And I'll show you the other one as well. Because that's important. So, as far as I'm aware, they're exactly the same. They're, yeah, they're exactly the same in terms of the way it looks, just the way it's overall design. It's got a little, little caress, uh, caress sign, not caress sign, this little in, in dense version to be a little glove. Is because you get two cow symbols. Put one here, and put one here. Now this, oh, that would have gone so wrong so fast. <laughs> so you get to um, note to self, get a solid base. I, ne I generally did not think this would be as heavy as it is and gain so much momentum on a soft base. Went to the wires, don't do what I do. Don't put it on a soft base, put it on a hard base. I'm just doing it because I don't have much room, has been built. I'm just, you know, living as is. Enough of me, about me. So you get two crystals, right? You get the... I don't even know what... What's this? Green teal? I, I, I don't know. So this is the first one. Now, it's hard to really see, but in this particular... Uh, these two cows emeralds in particular, they have this kind of um, foggish-esque effect to it. So you have solids. It's, it's not fully cut up as you would get in a typical emerald in some third party ones or whatnot this one's pretty much uh semi smoothed out to give a more of a of a more authentic look that's what i'll probably say and it's overall design if you look through it as well it has this very foggish effect so you see it seems seamless throughout it's very hard to see in my cam but that's the general vibe that's the first emerald and this is the second emerald this one's more vibrant this one's more 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 prominent in terms of its coloring effect and it's absolutely superb so there's that now what do you do with these of course you put it in his hand and this one is here I don't okay so it has very specific there we go 
I'm just gonna hold on to this a little more. Oh boy. Okay, so that's the first one. And the second one is. I'm gonna use something to stabilize this because I'm losing it. Oh, I'm such an idiot. I should have. Alright, that should be it. Uh, this one goes here. Put this here. Put this here. Okay, so that's one hand. Put this over here. And this is the other one, which goes here, which equalizes it. And ladies and gentlemen, that is Dr. Robondic. The only small. Apparently that's meant to be blue, but in the actual box itself, it's more of a prominent blue. This one's more of a more relaxed blue. I don't know if it's because the lighting or whatnot. But essentially this is how it looks. And I think this is exactly how I'm going to have a post. There we go. I'm holding it simply because I don't want this to fall over and essentially cry, and which I don't. Okay, so uh, ladies and gentlemen, this is well, this is Dr. Robotnik in all his glory. Put it over there. Okay, initial thoughts. Absolutely love it. I'm gonna have a massive ball when I basically have because when I buy my new place, I'm gonna have a, an actual physical uh, crystal clear display place. It's just gonna have all the first figure statues where essentially somebody can come in, look at them and say, oh my God, this is awesome. That's the end goal for this. I love the fact that they give you extra hands, which I'm a Dignity, which is an absolute pros, uh, pro, uh, which basically gives it more of a connector. Now, what that means is, unlike most other ones where they're not magnetic, you would have to force yourself in. And personally, me as a collector, I lost it. I'll be like, oh my god, if I basically force it even harder, I'm going to break it. Now, this one in particular uh, gives you this uh, beautiful um, look, which essentially gives it more strength, more, more, uh, more prominence, which m gives it more, more, more relaxed as a actual collector as myself which basically means is I can just put it in and put it down which is absolutely phenomenal I did I'm holding it for simply because I'm, I'm afraid that if I don't it's, it's gonna fall over and break and my life is gonna be horrible <laughs> so I love that they put the magnetic effect I love the packaging that's always been a pros to me I love how they captured the authentic look of Dr. Eggman or Dr. Robonic whatever you wanted to call it which gives that once again awesome prominence to it it's overall design it's superb it's obviously well balanced I'm doing a, a poor poor justice on a very very soft relaxed base and it's able to hold itself quite well even on a, in a relaxed base I'm holding it because if I don't now on a hard base which I have which I have tried it before basically touching in the whatnot um, just uh, just to size it up here on the base itself it's super well done the base itself gives it enough strength enough weight to basically give it enough equilibrium is that the word for it basically equal balance on everything else which I think is a phenomenal thing uh, the small I would say for the price tag I paid for I would have preferred additional emeralds me personally i am um, australian conversion is about 600 odd dollars it is extremely pricey it's not for everybody to basically pick up and a way to go for it for its price i think it's awesome if i could have a recommendation if i could have something to say hey guys could you do this i would love for them to make the other chaos emeralds as an accessory pack i would legit pay for that that would work for Dr. Robotnik. You can have it as a display and just have it maybe go around or just have it have like little bases where it gives it that illusion where it goes around like that of the first original Sonic the Hedgehog. I would honestly pay for that. You know, as for the prices, that's totally up to you guys to make up that. I would pay for that. You could even use the emeralds to surround that of uh, Supersonic, you know, and even the new Supersonic that they basically uh, release teasers of. I would actually pay real obviously pay real money that's the only way method you could pay actually pay money if you could make a full set of um, 
uh, Chaos Emeralds. As another suggestion, if you could make the, the Chaos Emeralds glow in some fashion, I would, you know, I would honestly, uh, I would honestly love to pay for that, you know. That's something I think would be an awesome phenomenal addition as a starter, like a piece or, or in conjunction, oh, sorry. Or in conjunction with uh, Dr. Robonic, Supersonic, and one, I think that would be awesome. If you could throw that in as a, as a special one off, you know, extra cow samples is awesome. Um, as I mentioned, it cost me roughly about $600 to, to get shipping here. It's not for everybody. I can imagine not a lot of people can afford this sort of stuff. And you know what? That's perfectly okay. Um, they, you know, it, it's not for everybody. You, you're not less of a Sonic fan if you don't get it. You're not more of a Sonic fan if you get it. You know, this is purely just a hobby of mine. And it's always something that I've always enjoyed. And first of all, really delivers in the quality and in the ingenious designs that they've done to basically create this I'm, I'm truly flabbergasted that they would have rarely one star of 10 simply because it's just literally released I just literally got it this morning and it's definitely worth its weight in gold um, definitely pick it up if you can afford it if you can't uh, look you got a review you can look at it you can look at an awe inspired if you ever come down to Australia hit me up I'll definitely show you a room tour of my collection who knows anyway guys thank you so much for checking this review let me know how what you got it I'm gonna let the website first figures and uh, so you can order one if you don't want to uh, if you can order one if you want to or you don't want to this review obviously has gone on, on for too long uh, <laughs> uh, my general takes it's awesome phenomenal great superb every other word you could possibly describe I uh, highly recommend it if you can afford it if you can't hey look it's you know it's not it's not the end of the world but it, it's definitely superb guys thank you for checking out this review let me know in your thoughts of it um i'm definitely gonna take more pictures of this and whatnot guys take care speed on and take care again <laughs>